Hi, Adams. This is Miss Kay, and we are on episode nine of our Eureka unit. So today is your final challenge, part one. So this is going to go for today's lesson and also next lesson as well. So the first thing you're going to do is draw a picture of your new invention. So this was from last lesson, so I can put the link up here so you can click it and remind yourself of what your invention was. And you're going to, you can draw it on Google if you want. If you go to, let me show you. So just go to regular Google, click on these Google apps right here. I call it the little waffle. And then you're going to scroll down. Uh, looks like I don't have it. You might have it on here, but if you don't, you're just going to type into Google. Google Drawing. And this is free with your Google account. You can use shapes up here. So you can use shapes to make yours. Um, you can also use lines to just draw. And you can draw your invention in here if you want. If you don't want to do it on your computer, then you can just get a piece of paper and take a picture of it. Okay? So you're going to draw your picture and you're going to send it to your teacher. Once you do both of those, you can check them off. Number two, what does your invention do? Who uses your invention and where would they use it? How big is your invention? Is it What is it the size of? Is it the size of your hand? Is it the size of your body? How big is it? What materials are used to build your invention? Now we're going to go back to our drawing and you're going to ask yourself, what is not clear? So look at your picture. If you've never seen this before, what are you unsure about? Maybe you need to label your parts. Maybe you need to draw a little bit more detail to show what materials it is made out of. So you're going to go back and add more details. And once you do, you're going to click that and submit. So that's your reading assignment for today. Let's move on to skills. So we're going to go back to thinking about those pitches. So if you're going to make a good pitch, you're going to have facts. It's going to be organized, interesting, surprising, and any conclusions you make, they're based on the facts. So you're not just coming up with your opinions. You're using the facts to make your pitch. Um, this doesn't really apply to most of you unless you're doing it in a video, but when you're giving your pitch, you got to make sure you're making good eye contact, um, you're easy to understand, loud enough, and you have some energy. You're excited about it. If you have a bad pitch, it's going to be boring, uh, scattered. You might be monotone, mumbling, or too quiet. So we're going to watch this video to remind us about our pitches. Hello, my fellow inventors. I'm really pleased to be here today to tell you a little bit about one of the truly terrific things that mankind, or in this case, womankind, gave to the world, the chocolate chip cookie. That's right, folks, you heard me. A simple cookie that you take for granted had to be invented. Someone had to think it up, and that person was Ruth Wakefield, who owned a restaurant in Massachusetts. One day in 1930, she wondered, what would happen if you added pieces of chocolate to a butter cookie? And what she found was that the pieces of chocolate didn't melt. They stayed intact, and the cookie tasted delicious. So I would argue that even though this invention doesn't fix all the problems of the world, it's really one of the most important inventions around because it makes people happy. Here are two examples. Let's say you're on a long car ride and your little brother is being annoying. Maybe he poked you even though your mom said no poking. And when you poked him back, which is only fair, he started it, he began to cry. What a baby. But if you give him a chocolate chip cookie, he might stop crying, which will make the trip much easier on everyone. Or let's say you're watching your favorite TV show while lounging on your couch on a lazy Sunday afternoon. You think, life couldn't get any better than this, but then you realize it could get better. You could be eating a chocolate chip cookie, watching your favorite TV show, making the experience even sweeter. Basically, the chocolate chip cookie is happiness in just three bites. Mmm. Or maybe more bites, depending on the size of the cookie. All right, so there's our first example of a pitch. I'm sure you can think in your mind that, was that a good pitch or a bad pitch? Think about her eye contact. Think about how she spoke. Um, was she using facts or opinions? If you said that was a good pitch, you are correct. She gave examples for why that invention was useful. She told the um, audience why it was a good invention. 
Um, she gave specific examples as to when you could use it. So that pitch was full of details, full of facts, and she had a really good energy about it. So we're going to listen to another one now. As we're listening to this, think, is this a good pitch or a bad pitch based on Hattie's advice? Great job, Team Cookie. Okay, Team Lightbulb. Whenever you're ready, Paul. Oh, okay. okay. So, um, mm -hmm. the light bulb, the light bulb is like, is like good because, you know, it lights up stuff. Can you speak up a bit? People needed the light bulb and then it got made and it made things easier. When did it get made? Who made it? Uh, oh, right. Um, I think it was made by Thomas Edison in like 18 something something. Oh yeah, my dad told me this joke. It went like this. How many people, how many policemen does it take to turn in a light bulb? How many? None, because it screws itself in. You get it? Because sometimes people like turn themselves into the police. So then here, the light bulb screws itself in. You get it? Okay, do you have anything else to add? Uh, he's a cop, my dad. <laughs> I meant about the light bulb. Uh, no, it pretty much covers it. It's just a really important invention, like really important. That's it? Uh, yeah, it's just an awesome invention. An awesome invention? Is that really the best you can do? I don't think Mr. Edison's gonna be pleased about this. He's not gonna be pleased at all. All right, so you can see the audience's face. They're not paying attention. They're not interested in the presentation. Um, this student did not give us many facts. He just kept saying that it was a great invention, but he wasn't telling us why. So make sure when you're writing your pitch right over here, make sure it's organized. You're not just throwing in random details. Make sure you explain it with clarity and detail. So explain the parts, explain what it looks like, explain how it works. Um, that diagram and model that you drew in your reading lesson today, and then your presentation. Again, this doesn't, the presentation is if you're in person or doing it on video. So if you're not doing it on video, just keep those um, ideas in mind. All right, so the name of your invention goes here. Uh, what problem does it solve? How does it work? why is it important, and then make a slogan for your invention. So all of that together will be your pitch. Make sure you add those nice details, give explanations, give examples, um, give me those details to prove that your invention is good, useful, and worthy. All right, have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time for our last Eureka episode. Bye, Adams. <laughs>